Hi, everybody. Adam Savage here in my cave. Uh, <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about bags, my love of bags. I make bags. Here's some images of some of the bags my company, Savage Industries, makes. Uh, this is an EDC-1. This is an EDC-2. Uh, everyday carry is what that stands for. The EDC-1 is a perfect overnight bag. EDC-2, a perfect day bag. EDC-3, uh, uh, almost a bucket boss, but really, a, like Tom Sachs actually travels with his EDC-3 everywhere. Uh, these are some of the pouches I make. Clearly, I have thoughts about bags, and I, I love traveling around with bags. I love traveling and making my stuff into small compartments. We've recently released a set of five numbered canvas bags that are upcycled from the canvas left over from when we make our aprons. It is super awesome. Um, my love of bags, my, my love of containers began really, really early. Um, and the, the first time I can remember becoming obsessed with a specific bag yeah, the specific bag, it's going to be somewhere around my 30th birthday, which would be 1997. That late? Maybe earlier than, maybe more like 94, 95. Anyway, I'm at my friend's apartment and my friends rented this big old place on Texas and uh, over in Potrero Hill called Terrazzo Works. That's what it used to be called as a, a tile factory. And then my friends all lived there as an artist's colony for a few years. I threw my 30th birthday party in that building. Anyway, I'm there with a friend of mine and his girlfriend and she has bag over her shoulder. And I'm like, what is that bag? Can you tell me about it? And she said, yes, this turns out to be a German, uh, sorry, a Russian military map bag. So, you know, you got your various roles on a patrol and like somebody's point man and somebody's comms and somebody has the map and they've got a compass and, you know, it's a lensatic compass. They're guiding the team. And this case foments is, is, is the support for that. And I was like, where do I get one of those bags? This is the mid 90s. The Internet hasn't really taken hold yet. Yeah, that's why it's not 1997, because it's. It's definitely pre like me surfing the internet for any kind of shit. It's going to be like 93, 94. And she said, I found it at a thrift store years ago in like Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina or something. And I just thought, wow, I'm never going to find one of those bags. It is so beautiful. I wish I could go get one. So I kept searching. Like I would look in army surplus stores when I went to them. And then eBay happened. And one of the first things I went and looked for on eBay was Russian military map bag. And I picked up this beauty right here. Uh, and this is exactly the bag that she had over her shoulder. Um, these aren't incredibly old. They're not like 50, 60 years old. They're slightly less than that. The hardware is stamped metal. Uh, it, it's not the, you know, it's, it's military equipment. It's not made of the finest materials. But uh, I put a map in it. I even, uh, yeah, I even chose uh, Germany as part of the map. So this is all part of the support for the mapper. There's pens and pencils and stuff goes here. I'm sure a little compass in there. And then there's, oh, actually, hold on. We'll bring that down. Boink, boink. And then there's this compartment here. Like, I saw this and I thought, hmm, I could really rock that. I could, I could use that perhaps as a knockabout day type of satchel. And I never did. Um, I still love this bag. I think it's wonderful. It has been floating around my life ever since then. But I'm always on the search for weird stuff that like kind of compels me. Uh, and so when I happened across an eBay auction for a German military map bag, which is of a much simpler construction, I bought this beauty. And this is much more like a, I'm out on the city making sketches of the things I see. Uh, and I, I didn't take this when we went to Spain a few years ago, but I should have. Um, it's got a little thing here for your, I don't know, your pocket knife for sharpening your pencils. Here's your pencils. Um, that's where you could put your, uh, your ruler. And we still have a couple of compartments in here. 
Uh, and I, th by the way, this is unmonogrammed, which is fantastic. And look at this beautiful uh, dot texture. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mwah, really, really lovely piece. I'm delighted. And now, now, now I'm off to the races. Now I have a collection, right? I'm like, oh. And then um, another, so it's, uh, oftentimes, old German, Russian, and US military bags and satchels are used on superhero costumes. Hellboy is wearing some really specific ammo pouches on his belt. Um, and so I've, I've researched, I've, I've re my research has vend with things like this for years. And recently, uh, very recently, I came across one that I thought was really neat. Uh, and I picked this up and this is a, hold on. Oh, this is a Swiss medical military bag from 1975. Now, oh, I love the smell of these things. Um, last night when this came in, I actually took it out of its satchel, soaked it in a bucket of water and put some plywood in it just to square it up because it was really flattened and I let it take its shape overnight, it really did. This is a, oh right, yeah, I puffed this up with a sock. Um, that was neat. Um, this is from 1975, so it's got this leather pouch in here with working Velcro, which is great, uh, open here, and it's just a really simple, this is a really, really simple, and, uh, sorry, it is a really simple pouch, and, it's got this little extra noop noop for my Zippo lighter or whatever. And this I actually, this may end up traveling with me. This may end up being a day pack for a certain stuff. Um, specifically in places where it gets hot. And I have this issue when it gets hot, which is I don't like to leave the house without sunglasses, wallet. Uh, I got keys, I got a flashlight. I got a phone. I have all five of these things. Sunglasses, wallet, keys, flashlight, phone. I never leave without those. And there's often, if you need one, there's a doggy poop bag in my rear right pocket. Um, but when it is hot outside, you you can't put on a jacket and put all that stuff in it. That's what, I, that's what my EDC is, is a jacket in San Francisco. And since San Francisco, perennially, constantly has jacket weather. Uh, it is really the ultimate jacket weather city. Um, I never have to worry about that. When I go to hot places, well, I might carry my wallet and my other stuff in something like this. Um, if you know of other types of bags along these lines that I haven't mentioned here that I might think are cool, please tell me about them in the comments. I'd love some more things to go search eBay for. Um, but this is just a quick little one and done uh, cross section of some of the bags that I like to collect. Thank you guys for joining me for this little show and tell, and I will see you next time. I can't thank you enough for supporting us by watching the channel. If you've been to our merch store, you might want to head there again because we are always updating our roster with new products. Here is the anime-inspired tested logo in Japanese, my, one of my all-time favorite new designs. Uh, we're also selling tested mugs and tested hats. Oh, and if you want a cup of tea, we're selling that too. Tested-store.com. Tested-store.com. <laughs>